Because the Public Utilities Regulatory Authority, that's the PURC, is set to sanction the electricity company of Ghana for failing to furnish customers with a load shedding timetable. This follows a PURC directive issued on March 18, ordering the ECG to provide a load shedding timetable before April 2, 2024. We have more in this report. As the inconsistent supply of power persists, the electricity company of Ghana continues to remain the center of attention. Following Great Coast's letter to the Energy Minister, Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe, accusing the ECG of non compliance to load management instructions from the National Systems Control Center, the PURC is also accusing the ECG of flouting a directive to provide a load shedding timetable. On March 18, the PURC ordered ECG to furnish it with a load shedding timetable before April 2, 2024. However, a PURC report cited by City News reveals that although ECG is now complying with the cash waterfall mechanism, it has not complied with the directive to come up with a load shedding timetable. Although the ECG has given reasons for its inability to comply with the directive, former Energy Minister Emmanuel Amakofibua says the ECG is suffering from political interference. Why is ECG refusing to come up with a timetable? It's simple. Powerful political players who have been making noise and using the energy sector for politics are now afraid that a timetable will mean that indeed a confirmation that we are in doom so. But the people of Ghana are already way there. They know we are in crisis. And so it doesn't need any rocket science to tell us we are in doom so. We are in doom so. And it is time for government to act. And I think the Minister of Energy must take this opportunity with a letter that has been written by uh, Grico, which is really a confirmation of a complete failure of the sector, the leadership of the sector, to act and act immediately, to direct ECU to act. The regulatory institutions, Energy Commission, must act and make sure the punitive measures that must take place, must be, uh, the sanctions that must be applied, are applied. The PURC has also announced it is working on sanctions for the ECG for defying its orders. However, the Africa Center for Energy Policy is asking for the sanctions to be meted out to individuals instead of the institution. I'm hoping that this sanction will target individuals because when it targets the institution, it's the state that pays. But it should target individuals to the extent of even sending some of them to jail. Because this is what is killing, you know, you're taking power from hospitals and the rest of it, and people are dying. Uh, people on the operating tables and the rest of it uh, can have access to uh, power and be saved. And people are being negligent and deciding not to do it. So we're hoping to see what sanctions will come from the regulator for this non-compliance uh, with, with regulation. And then we, we will see how we communicate that. But something has to give uh, for, for the neglect of that straight direct orders to be able to help people to plan their lives around this time. Ben Boache also reiterated calls for the privatization of ECG. The state has shown that it, it doesn't have capacity or the will to manage the utility well. And the more we allow the government to control ECG, it's never going to work. So we need to find a way to bring in the private sector and resign government to regulation. So government then can regulate the private sector to make sure that it serves the needs of consumers and it doesn't exploit the consumer. That's why PRC exists. PRC is struggling to regulate ECG simply because it's, it's a government entity. And so, you know, simply because the same person who appointed the executive secretary is the one who appointed the MD of ECG. How do you regulate them? And that's why they can ignore them sometimes and not care what they want to do. On Saturday, April 6, the Mines and Energy Committee of Parliament is scheduled to meet players in the power sector, including ECG and Gridco. It is expected that this meeting will be used to probe the issues, including why the ECG is allegedly flouting load management instructions from the PURC and the National Systems Control Center. For City News, my name is Charles Ozukumi, reporting.